Hi everybody, my name is David and I work for EC. Hi, I'm Carmel, I'm from International House Dublin. Hello, I'm Donal and I'm a teacher with Atlantic Languages Galway. I'm here today just to give you some tips uh, to encourage you to continue learning and practicing English at home. Number one, listening. We all love a good film and watching films in English with subtitles is a really great way of improving your listening skills. Start off with a film you know well. In this way, you can focus on the language used a little bit more. Um, my top tip, I think, is is to enjoy the language. Here's a question. Do you like to read? Reading newspaper articles is a great way of keeping up to date with current affairs or maybe just the latest celebrity gossip. When you read, it's easier to notice language in context. Try to read at least one newspaper article a day and you'll notice not just an improvement in your reading ability, but also in your language knowledge. You know, you should be watching films, watching TV shows, reading books, but it has to be something you enjoy, it has to be something you like. Whatever you like doing in your language, bring it over into English. Even consider uh, reading books that you've already read in your language, read them through English so that it's that little bit easier, you have that support and you can enjoy them all over again. What do you do when you see a word that you don't understand? Do you at least have a pretty good idea about what the word could mean and after all of that is it even necessary to completely know the exact meaning of the word is it enough to guess that it's probably a type of clothing probably for hunting and probably old-fashioned if that's enough for you then you can move on with your reading and continue with your story. How about instead of searching for a definition of the word or a translation of the word, type the word into Google Images and see what happens. It won't always be precise, but you can get a good instant idea about what this word is in context. What we want to do is take what you learn and bring it into, uh, into practice. So it could be that you uh, you read something, you watch something, and then you go and talk about it with, uh, with someone else in English. Now I know it's difficult to find people to practice with, but there are a lot of online groups where you can find uh, language exchanges. Facebook has a lot of language exchange groups that you can join uh, and you can just contact people and speak to them, practice your English. Why not form a WhatsApp group or Zoom party with your English classmates or with your friends? Make a regular arrangement to speak to them in English. In this way, you'll practice your conversation skills, but you'll also keep in touch with your friends. Take the language you're learning and actually put it into use. In my kitchen, I have a very strict rule. All recipes must be followed in English. The English language must be used when we're chopping our mushrooms, when we're baking our potatoes, and when we're boiling our peas. And in order to keep ourselves on track, we normally follow recipes in English. So follow the directions of the recipe and uh, even say what you're doing while you're doing it. I am slicing the mushroom, boiling the water. I am adding some salt. I am adding some butter. Butter, butter is melting. And don't forget to wash the dishes in English. Vocabulary notebooks are an amazing way of remembering all the new phrases and expressions you learned while you're watching your films or while you're reading your newspaper articles. And in this way, you'll have a really memorable, really useful and really personal dictionary of new language just for you. The most important thing is that you do a little bit every day. As the saying goes, practice makes perfect. And with a little bit of practice every day, you'll notice your English just gets better and better. Good luck, everybody. And that's my advice for today. I'm Donal. You're doing great.